Welcome back to the Nevada Lithium Story. This is the story of a world in need of lithium and how we intend to get that lithium to the world. Did you see our good news? I'm talking about the preliminary economic assessment on the Bonnie Claire project. And boy, do we like the results. Now, a preliminary economic assessment is by definition preliminary. So please read the disclaimers at the end of the video. There will be forward-looking statements in these videos, so there are disclaimers to give management a safe harbor. And please remember that none of what I say should be construed as investment advice. You must do your own due diligence. Now, to many of you old hands in the natural resources space, you already understand much of what I'm gonna talk about over the coming months. But my goal is to bring as many people as possible up to your level of understanding, to understand why things were done, how things are done, and the sequence of steps we'll use to try to add shareholder value. So a preliminary economic assessment is a good first shot at determining whether you have a viable project. As part of the PEA, the team of Global Resources Engineering, who are independent from us at Nevada Lithium, constructed an economic summary of a 40-year lithium mine at Bonnie Claire. Now I say summary, but remember, this is really a very detailed, very big model. One of the numbers from the economic summary is the net present value, which is one and a half billion US dollars. That's using an 8% discount rate and a price of 13,400 US dollars per metric ton for lithium carbonate equivalent or LCE. Many people are unfamiliar with NPV. So what does it actually mean? It means that if you took all of Bonnie Claire's projected yearly discounted net cash flows from when you start to build the project and add them up for 40 years, it sums to one and a half billion US dollars. The key word is discounted because that reflects the fact that a dollar in your pocket today is worth a lot more than a dollar 20 or 40 years from today. So it's a way of taking into account all those future dollars and giving us a value today for Bonnie Claire. Now, I will tell you that according to the MBA handbook, there is a method to determining the proper discount rate but this is what I've always found in practice. People will argue about the proper rate like they'll argue about soccer versus football or Chevy versus Ford. I've seen discount rates assigned to companies and projects from 0% to 30%. From my experience, I think an 8% discount rate is appropriate for a project like Bonnie Claire. It's similar to a lot of other projects and it does reflect uncertainties in the PEA, it's preliminary. But I also think some of that uncertainty is offset by the location of Bonnie Claire in the world's number one mining jurisdiction of Nevada. You don't need to look far to see how important having a secure mining jurisdiction is. Mexico just announced that they're looking to nationalize all future lithium development. Now, according to almost all the experts, the outlook for future lithium prices is bright. GRE used $13,400 as a constant lithium price throughout Bonnie Claire's 40-year projected mine life. In my opinion, the price that GRE used is reasonable, but probably low. It's lower than the long-term incentive price needed to bring on future lithium supplies. That's what an increasing number of analysts are currently saying. And as a reference point, current spot LCE prices in China, where most of the world's conversion capacity is, are currently over $20,000 a ton and climbing. If you go to our October 13th press release and look at table one, you'll see we had the engineers spell out how the project's net present value increases when lithium prices rise. I think it's pretty clear from that table that we have a tiger by the tail with Bonnie Claire. So there's a tremendous amount to talk about in the PEA, but we can't do it all at once. Things like borehole mining and recovery methods and calcination and capital costs, they're all worthy of discussions themselves. So to finish up this short video, I ask that you visit our website, follow our social media and sign up for our email alerts. I also hope you'll consider becoming a shareholder of Nevada Lithium. And thank you to those of you who already have. Remember, lithium is 21st century gasoline and we're here to fill up the world's gas tank.